On the notion of Harrison Barnes, just over the last three games, I think against Phoenix, he scored, he had like a really big kind of fourth quarter. I think he scored 11 points in the fourth quarter. And I think against Utah, he had a, he had a pretty nice second half after a quiet first half. And then um, against Minnesota most recently, he kind of got it going in the first quarter, getting the offense on track for the first time in the game, it felt like, by getting inside. I think he was the guy that had initiated um, the attack inside that kind of bounced the ship, as it were, in the first quarter there against Minnesota. And it just kind of illustrates the point that Harrison Barnes doesn't always have to be a heavy offensive production type guy at all times but that he can fill in when necessary, that he can kind of take command when necessary, when things are kind of depleted in other areas, and step up. So with that kind of guess, role in mind or responsibility in mind, what do you see for him come the playoffs? Do you think that that's something that's going to be expanded? Like, is he going to have to step up more? Is he going to step up more? Or is it going to be about the same? Kind of an open-ended question. But, I mean, like, what are you expecting from Harrison Barnes uh, the one guy in the nightly rotation with championship experience. I know. You know what's crazy? You're talking about Harrison Barnes on the playoffs. His last playoff game was a game seven of the NBA Finals. <laughs> he has not been back since. It's crazy. <laughs> He's probably missing that really like, badly right now. Yeah. He, went to, he went to the playoffs every year in Golden State and two finals appearances, right? His four years in... Uh, yeah. Yeah, he, and he thrived in the playoffs. Every time it was playoff time, he'd shoot. He'd he'd turn into a three point shooter. Yeah, crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I can't believe he's probably so excited. If anyone's excited, it's Harrison Barnes, really. And you probably won't ever see it on his face, but he's probably yearning to get back to the postseason. But um, from what I expect from Barnes is, I mean, I mean, definitely that veteran guy who has that playoff experience, even though he's been <laughs> five years removed from it now or something. Hey, even longer. It was 2016. So what? Seven years? Seven, yeah. Man, that's crazy. Um, but, you know, he's still that veteran guy with that playoff experience. I mean, you of course you'd hope he can step up. I mean, yeah, maybe you put a load a little more on his back. The game is going to slow down. Harrison Barnes is more of that half-court guy. Probably one of the better half-court guys on the team, I'd say. He can play it slow, slow it down. Get to the line when you need him to. I think that's going to be important. Like, when you need a bucket, yeah, like, Fox is your guy. But, I mean, Harrison Barnes is right behind him. He's he's great one-on-one, great work on, working in the post on smaller guys. So I think that's where you're really going to see him shine is in those situations. And like you said, you he needs to knock down threes at a high rate, at a high clip during the playoffs. And, I mean, he didn't definitely did not do that during the, the finals <laughs> the last time he was in the playoffs he was terrible i remember one of the mm-hmm. reasons golden state lost but has elevated his game in the postseason can hit the three as well so that's kind of what i'm expecting to see a little little bit bigger of a role just because of the slower pace of play that the playoffs bring and he's a guy who will excel in that half court kind of game yeah i mean those moments where he has to step up, I think those are going to be amplified in the playoffs, especially amongst a team that doesn't have as much playoff experience. It's going to be imperative that he does not hesitate to you know, take control. Obviously, you have two superstars, Fox and Sabonis, so that really makes it helpful. Um, and hopefully that kind of allows things to uh, like maybe let him pick up where he left off in the playoffs, uh, playing alongside such talented Guys, he's obviously going to have to be huge for the Kings. In the he playoffs he needs to be the third best player. I mean, yeah. I think he is already, but he's really going to be the third best player in the playoffs. Yeah, it's really going to going to like where is where he'll 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 make an impact with the scoring one game. He'll make the impact maybe with a little bit of defense in another game, and then he'll make like an impact on the boards in another game. And it's like a varied impact from game to game, moment to moment. I think he's it's going to just require a little bit more from him because I mean he in a lot of ways. I mean, just down to experience, he's the guy. I mean, he's the guy that's been there that's done it. And I think one of the things that he does really well is leads by example. And uh, that'll be huge come playoff mm-hmm. time and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, it will be. And it, Whenever he gets aggressive, he just, it's, it's the right move. And so it's just the absolute right type of aggression. And that'll be critical. 
uh, in terms of leading by example. Um, yeah. It's one of those things where I think, you know, I think a lot of people appreciate Harrison Barnes, but the playoffs is really going to be the opportunity to and I, I underscore that. You need big production from Fox, Sabonis, and Barnes. And not like big Barnes production, but like he needs to be he needs to be on his A game for sure. Yeah. I guess we're not really stating anything new at that point, but <laughs> Yeah. 